Well, we welcome everybody back. Beautiful, well, it is a beautiful day, but cloudy day. June 11th, but uh, temperature's about 75, but we're doing something that I normally do in the fall or the winter time. And uh, let's work on snowmobiles. And I have a uh, 85 Indy Trail there, which I've videoed before, and I'm going to put a different track on it. This is the track that I purchased. It's pretty uh, chewed up, but it's a whole got a whole lot bigger uh, cleats on it than my one that's on it already. And uh, that was the problem with that particular sled that it was the rear end was loosey goosey, and it just it was hard to get good traction with it. So I found this and I got it for a good price because of it being chewed up like it is. But this originally I think are supposed to be like these panels here uh, inch and three quarters or two inches I believe. I think they're two inch, supposed to be two inch but they're all chewed off and you can see how the edges are chewed up. But the problem is the track is in beautiful shape. I mean other than that. But where we're having problems is some of the track clips are missing. And uh, if you can see, this particular clip has got a guide on the side. And it's every fourth one. One, two, three, and then four, there's another one. Well, there's many of those are missing, the guide here is one where I have taken it off. You can see uh, I take a cutoff wheel. This little gadget here. And then I just run that across, diagonal across there. And then just take a screwdriver. And you get down and you pry that off and they come off in two little halves. Similar to this is what they look like when you after you pull them off. It's easy peasy, okay? Now, I've got a tool to install. And I have used this tool before. But I'm trying to remember how to do it. And uh, here is a new clip. Let me show you the new clip. You can kind of see how they look. And those little Wings on the side there have got to be squeezed together around this piece here on the track. That's what holds it in place. And you see it's got the, the guide, new guide thing there. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. So once I figure out how to use this tool again, I'm going to, I'll bring it back and we'll, we'll get it figured out. So stay tuned. Well, I realized this was a tool that I had bought years ago. And this tool will not work on this particular track because it's got to fit down in those holes. You can see this thing is probably eh, half inch too wide. So, we're going to have to come up with another solution, either that or cut the edges of these blocks off, but I don't have a bandsaw to do that with. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if it would be, I don't know anybody that's got one. It's, that would be the ticket, though, is just to be able to cut, you know, a quarter inch off each side there and to make it work. So we're in a dilemma, but uh, yeah, these holes are a lot skinnier. The old tracks were like an inch and a half, and these are an inch, so they just don't work. Or this, this clip won't work, or this track clip won't work. Clips fit. I mean, those are for the track, and I could get something to go between them to pinch. See how you got to pinch those things together. There, that's what keeps them on there, and it's just. You gotta have a tool to clump them, crimp them. So, I'm gonna 
put you on hiatus here for a while until I come up with something and uh, when I do I'll bring you back. Okay we're going to show you how to put one of these clips, guide clips, on your track. And of course you've got to orient it so that this little tab there is on the outside of the track because that's what your high facts will run on in your suspension. And what you do is you set this thing up in here like that in position and then I uh, I modified this. You can see I cut some of the edges off so that it would fit into this track, these holes. And then you run this up on the inside. And again, make sure that little tab is facing outward. And then you've got this piece here, which is the crimper. You can see that little half moon shape. You got to set that down in between here, and this has got to go on the. You got to get that clip so that it'll. This will center so that it'll it'll push both of those together at the same time, and then this apparatus here goes on top. This is what will push that together. I'll show you in a second here as soon as I get it set up. It's kind of tricky and I, obviously I don't do it very often at all. In fact, this is the second time I've ever done this, so I'm very, very slow at it. But uh, after modifying that, this tool, as I mentioned before, it was set up for an older track. So now you've got that set. So what I do, I mean, you can use a ratchet but this is a whole lot quicker make sure you're going forward and uh, just and there it's clamped so now when I take this off that will look like these other clamps here It'll look like this. I hope this has got enough light here. But anyway, let me back this off now and I'll show you what the results are. You pull this gadget off, you pull this thing out of here, like that, and then this comes off the inside, and there's your clip. You can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit and we'll. Uh, Get a closer shot of it. There's the clip clamped onto the track. You can see the other ones, how they look. So, that's what it takes to put a clip on a track. These are guide clips that I'm putting on. The other ones are just regular clips. They don't have this little uh, edge on it. And you can see that edge there. As I mentioned, the high facts will run right up against that so that it will not hit the rubber lugs. And if you look inside the track there, you can see one right up. Let me see if I can zoom in. There's one. You see those rubber lugs? Well, you don't want your high facts rubbing up against them because it'll eventually wear them off. But you don't need it on every clip. It's every fourth clip on this particular track. And so the other two are like that. And so you can see there's one there and there's one right there. So anyway, that's what I'm in the process of doing here and uh, the summertime. So just a short little video to show people how to put clips on tracks because I looked on YouTube and there really wasn't any self-explanatory video that really showed well how to do it and so this is with this particular tool there are others tools that you can use they're more like a uh, 
uh, chain cutter device that you can clamp it on with a whole lot faster. Um, I just happened to have this tool that I had purchased years ago and I just modified it and uh, to make it work on this particular track. It'll work on the other tracks too, but uh, anyway, it's, it's because that hole is a little skinnier. So that's all we got today. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and we'll be back soon.